Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Med Bros Podcast, episode four. Or no, five. Five. Or yeah. five. five. I don't know where we're at on we this. Are episode this, five. We are on episode five, apparently, and we're going to be getting on with this podcast. We've got three amazing topics. We're going to jump right into it. Before we do, actually, I wanted to uh, kind of get some updates. Bunny, you recently got the vaccine, didn't you? The infamous vaccine, COVID vaccine. Oh, we're just jumping into that? We're not jumping into that. I just want to say that I also got my vaccine today, and that arm pain, that arm pain is something. Well, it's funny because dad didn't have any. The dad didn't have soreness as bad, but I had it for like three days. Hmm. Hmm. How was your soreness? I have not been vaccinated yet. Wow. Actually, it's kind of crazy. Our whole Just house saying. is almost going to be vaccinated. Almost. Well, I oh, eventually yeah. Gonna, like we would have herd I'm immunity gonna... in our household. Yeah, that is true. Like, I mean, I know that's not a thing, but like it's comforting. Healthcare workers in tier one of the vaccine. So anyway, we'll keep you guys updated if we start growing legs out of our butts or something like that with the vaccine uh, side effects. You'll hear it here first. Yes, a more important update. Uh, look at our beautiful set here that we have. It uh, is a quite work, an update. Yes, it is a work in progress. So we have a lot of other things planned. So stay tuned for that. But uh, it's it's already a good upgrade from previous. Mm-hmm. And notice how I have the best mic in the house. It's got a nice little filter and everything. Yeah, of course. You definitely have the most to say here. I don't know about that, but... Okay, we're going <laughs> to jump into our first topic. This topic was actually brought by Panid. Maybe you want to introduce it a little bit. Uh, no, okay, I'll introduce <laughs> I'll introduce it for Because it was not really brought by Panid. We, it was her topic that they brought by somebody else. So, uh, we've been thinking a lot, you know, now that we're online, there's a lot of talks about cyberbullying. There's a lot of, uh, you know, just bullying in general that still occurs to this day, despite there being a lot of awareness. Um, and then you always do see once in a while, specifically ethnic kids, like kids like uh, Indian kids, specifically being bullied, uh, classic jokes. Maybe we can get into some of those. Um, what did you guys experience as children, as bullying? Were you bullied? Is that something you had to deal with? How did you deal with it? And do we have any advice for people out there dealing with bullying? So I've talked about my bullying experiences in the past uh, a little bit on my channel, but I think the main bullying I had was just rooted in being an Indian kid. I think social media has definitely made it a little bit better for people to understand, even young kids to understand, middle schoolers to understand that challenging time that there are different people out there who are considered beautiful, who are, you know, because I think when I was growing up, Indian girls were never really considered beautiful. Like I said, so like when you would watch Disney Channel, it would be like Hilary Duff and like all of these like Caucasian girls. And like, so Indian girls were never considered pretty. And so when they saw like hair coming out of my arms, which was like, I don't know, I guess it was a foreign concept to them. I would get bullied for that and like called Chewbacca. Actually, it extended from Like, that arm hair took me from, like, kindergarten to middle school. I think middle school was probably the last time I got, like, actually bullied. Um, Like, eighth grade. I think until eighth grade. Because I would still get called, like, Chewbacca and this and that. Um, So I think it was also a huge contribution was not having, like, Indian representation and other representation other than Caucasian girls as considered, like, beautiful. So So let's jump into that first. Because one common theme that we're going to see with bullying is the one that you brought up of hair. Hair, hair, hair. Did you ever have to experience this? I don't feel like you ever had to experience being <laughs> hair shamed. Have you had someone ever come home crying about being made fun of his hair? No. Have you? I will say... Uh, yes, I'll tell you. Yeah, I will oh. say people do notice it. Like, well, you have uh, like arm hair and stuff. And yeah. That's a lot for your age. I'm like, yeah. And people are like, yeah, that's cool. But who so, would say that? Kids at uh, so one age. One kid would be like, you have a lot of hair. Then another kid would be like, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool? <laughs> who said that's cool? Anyone who knows what a man is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what age are we talking about where people uh, point this out for you? Like, like middle school. Seventh, eighth grade. Yeah, middle school. Okay, so my experience as a guy in this day and age, you'd probably imagine, like, why would anybody make fun of a guy for having hair when people uh, coveted having beards and things like that recently, right? But when you were growing up and you have a mustache in the sixth grade. Oh, yeah, Herman um, is actually. Yeah. Uh, maybe you should pop that picture up. We're here not if we can we're find not pop it. any Her pictures. Herman never of lets us revisit those. <laughs> Ever find that picture of her in with a mustache, a mustache in eighth grade? Not even eighth grade. He had it in like literally fifth yeah, grade, like, yeah, grade sixth like grade. grade. But it was bad in eighth grade, like thing. Mario yeah, the th- bad. The thing about that age, dude, is when you're a brown kid growing up, there's really no uh, initiation to shaving because I guess 
like you don't do that right in the back in the back in the day where we come from with india and and our our kind of um past generations you just keep your mustache that turns into a beard which turns into a bug which turns into all that stuff versus uh here you have you start off with a mustache and all the other kids don't have mustaches you're just because this guy with a mustache you look like luigi in fifth grade and um and uh yeah you're just did you get bullied for it oh i don't think so you were such a dominant personality i really don't think you got not for the mustache not for the mustache but when i speaking of bullying and dominant herman was the bullier not the bully (laughs) will jump in let me finish (laughs) talking about my mustache and then i will defend myself i I, I bully me man in front of people (laughs) no we will get into that oh we will get into it uh but not for the mustache it's when i got into high school or even not high school it was eighth grade and you would go to the gym even the guys gym and you'd have hairy chest and things like that people would be like why does this eighth grader have a hairy chest which of course is different right but in this day and age that's if you make fun of a guy for having a hairy chest you're so dumb like you're so off base and people be like what are you talking about you're supposed to but back then that's one thing you would get rid of yeah because again i don't i think it all comes down to the fact that back then if you were different it was always no matter what mm-hmm. period looked at as different like bad mm-hmm. versus now i think different has a positive connotation based mm-hmm. off social media mm-hmm. kids are seeing people who are different excel and like be be huge for being different because at the in the real world different is what makes you excel even back then but now when you see that on social media kids can see that on social media so they're a little bit more accepting of different is not always bad so what do you think people are getting bullied for now if it's now? not for being different or do you feel like it's different no, it's in a different way like before it might have been you wear something weird and and you're seen as different so you made fun of now it might be something like you uh having an opposite opinion yeah yeah having an unpopular opinion having a trump hat or something i mean like to that, be honest i i think that i probably still would get bullied for my arm there yeah, you I think so? We don't know I really any, like, think little, so. Little, little kids experience. Not gonna that's tell you. true. Yeah, we don't all the kids. Yeah, today. no, we. That's true. We actually, I guess, we wouldn't have any experience with Indian girls growing up now. But you personally feel like it would. I still think happen. it would still happen. I agree. I think there's still not enough representation. True of 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 hair. And I think there's girls still in Indian yes. girls in middle school are trying to look more Caucasian. They're not embracing them. They're a little bit better, but I think generally in the real life world aside from social media i do think that it's still hard for them too even in the social media world haven't you gone through tiktok and you see that one poor girl she she's a really young girl she dances and she has a mustache. yeah she has a little bit of upper lip hair and, and people were tormenting so her for many it. Yeah. people including a lot yeah, of so i think guys. it still would for sure happen nowadays i think yeah i think it's a little bit better but i still think i would get probably get bullied for so how did you like number one okay arm hair that's some stuff you dealt with how did you deal with it did you deal with it well was it something that affected you what happened with that i mean i think it definitely affected me i got laser hair removal the second i could in high school mm-hmm. or so i was just like i'm um, i mean i immediately started like staying on top of hair removal i started getting bleaching kits i was always doing hair removal so i think it affected me because i would invest in that stuff um i don't know how i dealt with it i don't think i really dealt with it like i don't think i ever talked about it i don't think you guys even knew that people were calling me chewbacca and stuff no in seventh people and eighth did grade. but i think it also as a kid you because put in, herman was one of the culprits here i never made fun of anyone dun, from here, so. all dun. right let's let's start clearing some of this stuff out bring it up well who was doing what? uh you bullied many children <laughs> <laughs> This is such a lie. You, gonna... you bullied them for having different shirts. I Where? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. There was a, a friend of... The same the... kid over and over again it was for having insults. a turtleneck. Listen. And he was three years younger. And when you're a kid, like third through sixth grade, that's a big difference. Let me tell you something. We went to a school, private school, with a uniform. Mm-hmm. And this was your friend. And he was cool with me too. And I noticed that he would get, try to get fancy with it. He was cool. He was cool. The poor little kid, three grades under, he was cool with me. So, so I noticed he tried to be fancy with it and wear turtlenecks on top, under, or on top of his stuff. And I was like, okay, this kid's getting fancy with it. So I'd call him out and say, well, yeah, it's a nice turtleneck. You know, yeah, said that's, that's a nice, a nice turtleneck. What would I say? I want to quote for what I say. Kid. What did I beat him up for having a turtleneck? Kid. The turtleneck kid. <laughs> I did not call anyone a turtleneck. I said nice turtleneck. I would maybe sing a song saying like, oh, you got a nice turtleneck. And you like, what's up, turtleneck? <laughs> what's up, turtleneck? <laughs> okay, that was bad. I did call, I did up, call turtleneck? him turtleneck. 
But it was for the shirt. I wasn't making fun of any physical attributes, okay? That kid was really secure, though. Oh, he was. So he was really solid. The other reason, guys, is like I said, I was cool with him. This was not tormenting any this young children. He wrong. would bite no, back, No, here's bro. the other thing. I was intimidated of my own brother in our elementary school. There would be sections where, like, the 8th graders would sit and the 6th graders would sit on those benches, Shaman, you know? Mm-hmm. And the kids like us would sit at the tables. I remember one day I wanted to ask Kermit, like, yo, when mom give you for lunch, I got this or something or can i have something i went over there to ask him and he totally just embarrassed me in front of like his friend they were like get out of here beneath and i was just like i just wanted to ask like what the food situation was and i went back to my table and him and his friends were just like or his friend was like egging him on oh dude he's so cool he's made fun of his own sister (laughs) (laughs) it's turning into an expose of my bullying (laughs) session Okay. Man, that's it. The thing is, that's that is, if that's the most extreme you got, though, no, that but that's is a bad mentality to have to assume that the other person is secure and can take it. Oh yeah, oh for that's sure. How yeah, yeah, true. Is a oh for sure, I agree. But I'm just saying, like looking back in hindsight, that kid was a strong kid. <laughs> no, I knew him. He was in my grade. He was a what he did he not take it? I know he took it, but then he probably up like to the was upset. Like he exploded. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, I don't remember that. Of but you act like I did something every day. He didn't explode or anything. What is this picture you paint? This kid. We were just turtleneck, turtle, and then he like shot something up. No, no way, man! It was anything like that. We'll oh, what about that one? What? Girl, what did he the do? The one girl who hit you up and said um, when you added her on Facebook, and she said, "Well, you can't like pull my hair anymore." Oh something. God, we're oh, going real exposed. deep into all this. Here. What if his bullies exposed. came back on face, or what are the ki- victims or whatever exposed. came back on huh. Facebook to say like when this Herman is, added him, wait, what, you can't do you that were, anymore. Yeah, what, wait, wait, you were feeling bad because I made fun of your mustache, Let, and you were doing this again. I okay, I complimented in a very underhanded way his turtleneck. neck. That's one. Number two is there was this individual who Benita is referring to. I don't know why we're going through these stories, but I she was not. I I missed a basketball shot genuinely. (laughs) It happened to hit her head. She went to the to the principal and got me in trouble because she thought I intentionally threw a ball at her head. It missed. And yeah, years yeah, it and, and, and it did miss. And I didn't throw any basketballs at anyone's head intentionally. <laughs> no, yeah. You were and, not that bad. And, and years and years later when I initially made a Facebook I saw her on Facebook I was like, oh, he's nice enough. I might have <laughs> send her a friend because I thought we were totally fine. She immediately posted on my wall all these crazy you could throw a basketball at my head now you little I was like, oh my God. Like it definitely affects people to a certain extent. She, I'm pretty sure she bullied me. She was never nice to me. Oh dude, she has another history too. Oh, yeah, I don't know where she's not nice. She's she not nice she's, at all. I don't know where she's at this day. She's out here watching this. Watch her watch this. She probably watches <laughs> us. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Um any other aspects that you were bullied on except for hair or, or, or for hair, is there anything you could recommend to young girls going up now, such as that one on TikTok who doesn't give a crap? Props to her, by the way. She continues to post uh with that. Um But is that the right mentality to what is it the right mentality to just not give a crap or is it the right mentality for certain things to just do something and get it over with like shave her mu- like yeah shave like shave it and get it over with. But- it's all about what you want mm-hmm. the, the it's about what you want kids, like if you love thing. your like I, if you love like if you're a guy and you have long hair and you're getting bullied for having long hair you're getting called a girl if you love your long hair don't yeah, that's cut a it good point. Mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. you are doing it literally because you're getting made fun of then you shouldn't cut it yeah, I agree. Um, definitely. I'm just saying that from the perspective of expecting kids to be mature, kids are idiots. Kids yeah. are disgusting. I hate these kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as someone who wasn't even If bullied. it was my but daughter. These kids, are, these kids sicken me. Um, and they aren't going to stop if you just continue like uh, walking around with a mustache or something. Right. So, I mean, if there's a reason. But then they wanna... continue anyway if you don't have a mustache. Oh, what's like they'll make oh. fun of you on other shit. Oh, this is funny. Yeah, this is a great point. I had a unibrow growing up. In about fifth grade, there was these two kids. Or I was in third grade, and these kids were in fifth grade. And we were like friends, but it was like, it was definitely bordering like bullying at a certain point where you would get made fun of for having a unibrow. And one day I did just shave it off. And if that opens up a whole another Yeah, door, then they just bully you for well. something else. But I will say that after the initial ridicule of, oh, dude shaved his unibrow, blah, 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 for after a couple of weeks, it died down. But I'm pretty sure in eighth grade it, yeah. when I was still getting called Chewbacca, I had bleach. I've been shaving since I was in sixth grade. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know where they even came up with that name. Maybe because I was Indian or maybe at one point my it hair outgrew. But I wasn't even hairy at that point. So it's mm-hmm. like, 
you're still calling me that like they'll still call you crap you just do whatever makes you happy yeah, you're right you're right i think ultimately then where i'm looking at is that i think schools need to do more about it because really? yeah schools suck schools bro. don't check at all on the wellness of a kid mm-hmm. school don't check if anyone's being if bullied. anything schools will hype up the popular kids that's how mm, I they will felt. yes yes they do true. do that they will put them on the yearbook they'll put them on those teams and staffs and bring them on they love on the board. poster childs and 100%. like even if they're not the nicest to everyone 100 percent. so show me what should schools do what specific how do you uh, implement they should that? be punished like right the punishments for bullying are literally nothing like you yeah. just told it, hey yeah. stop uh, bullying should be really reprimanded mm-hmm. and then you just john stop really hitting vignesh you mean um john gets bullied too I remember John. Who? There was one poor guy who really? got bullied. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I was just trying to make a point. Yeah. Let's protect Big Nash as well. Um, what What would your advice be to girls in this day and age getting bullied for something specific like their arms, their arm hair? How do I you mean, deal with like that? I said, do whatever makes you happy. If for me, I did feel better when I shaved my arms and stuff and like bleached my peach fuzz. But if it's not worth it to you, then just who cares and just move on because they are going to bully you regardless um if they're really bad people so you just do whatever makes you happy if you're like oh maybe i do want to get rid of this upper lip hair like i did i don't want to get rid of it just you shouldn't make fun of somebody for having it but like if you wanted to get rid of it anyway just do it then and then mm-hmm. i don't know they're never gonna stop so you just keep up you just live your doing. life you yeah. don't need to deal with it. but anymore. obviously if there's something intense going on like there you're really getting ridiculed take it to the take it to your principles just so you can't ever they can't ever say that they never heard about it right Mm -hmm. take it to your parents if it's getting really bad um so at least you try your best to you know hold people accountable Mm -hmm. right shaman i find it hard to believe you did not get ridiculed or shaman was never ridiculed how does this guy get away with everything no that's because first of all we grew up in a pretty safe like elementary school where there wasn't really any do we want to get into that where exactly we went to school one other kid um, I loved our school. But yeah. relatively, uh, elementary school was fine. Junior high, uh, I had a lot of nice people that had my back there. You made so many more friends than me in junior Wait, high. Wait, let's talk about let's talk about one thing. Let's talk about one thing, okay? When we grew up and we went to school, where do you find oh individuals? <laughs> let's talk about Shaman's friend group if he wants to jump into it. Shaman finds these friends that within a couple of weeks become ride or die for this guy. They, Shaman is like this Stop. centerpiece for the group and everyone else, everyone else, Shaman, Shaman. Like literally, you know those, what are those things called where they carry them on the side and Shaman's sitting on top and they're like carrying, that's literally Shaman's friend group. Yeah, your friends around. love you. But Somebody tell me I'm wrong. Actually, funny thing, now that we're talking about bullying, again, I don't even remember these memories. Yeah. Like in the back of my head, but I remember that this one girl in junior high and she was uh, trying to mess with me or something and i was walking with this uh i don't know should i give names no you, we know names yeah. well this rename them rename them rename them like yeah tough, uh rename i have no them. need to name but this is kind of this tough white kid and we we're walking together and this girl tried messing with me <laughs> uh my buddy who's like a tough dude was like don't f with shaman and, he said, <laughs> and we just kept this is what I, mean. <laughs> yeah, what shaman? The, I don't know where you find these people how you make these connections instantly like what uh i don't know i just uh i like people and people like me it's a good Good energy. energy thing. It's an energy. Mm-hmm. Bro, but I didn't have bad energy. My ass was sitting there eating lunch in the hallway every day. I think it's also sports. It's easy for guys to make friends. It's harder for girls to make guys friends. to make friends. Because okay, he just well. hopped on the basketball courts and had a whole friend group. Because like it's so easy to bond over sports. It, that's a great point. But also for guys, it's easy to make friends if you're good at something. As a guy, to be good at like if you're good at basketball, you're immediately that's your friend group. You're going to be hailed in that group. You have status. You have a reputation. If you're not good at something, then it's hard to still break into those friend groups. Well, yeah, but like that's sports. What else can you be good at? Like chess. You're good at the chess. This chess doesn't exist in our middle school. Oh, I guess so. You're talking about middle school. Yeah. 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 But anyways. Yeah. Did you experience um, bullying at any time in your life? High school? I mean, one off of people like insulting you, but like. Who insulted you? Uh, just yeah. a random insult, but not like bullying. I wouldn't classify just like an insult as bullying. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever specifically gotten bullied. 
I think you might be the only one that got bullied. I don't know if I even don't really like calling it bullying because I see what other people go through and it's way worse than what I went through. I just got name called. There needs to be also more terms to like. I think name called is what I would say. There's like one person tormenting someone else. That's like on another level. Yeah. You're just like there for like a day and they're. I mean, this was consistent people. But yeah, it was just name like calling. But drama. aren't they at the same time? Were they your friends or were you people not you hanged out? I mean, they were my. That's why I always made it that's so why. difficult, yeah. right? Is because they were your friends, but they were mean to exactly. you. So like, I don't know. Yeah, I think the only things I ever got in that kind of category for was uh, hairy chest, unibrow. I think that's the only. I would thing. get called oh. a stick a lot. That's one in high school. I would get. Oh really? Yeah, I'm oh. good. That's why I started working out like crazy too. Probably oh. contributing for that. Yeah, I used to always get called that. Yeah, and then go ahead and follow uh, your fitness videos, which we're going to be hopping back on to uh, if you want to get in shape. But um, <laughs> the other thing that definitely played a big role, and that was at this day and age, if you saw this kind of stuff, it would border racism. Would be the name calling for uh, terrorism and curry and you know, taxi driving, all those kind of classic jokes. I think we went to uh, Mission San Jose and Fremont, so that kind of uh, downplayed it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, because that place is like, there was literally in my class, there was like maybe 10 white people, and everybody else was of a different um, race. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that downplayed it a little bit. But yeah, I remember when like Call of Duty 4 came out, my God, the terrorist jokes were insane. Um, yeah, Herman probably got terrorist jokes. Yeah, either. terrorist jokes, having a beard, being the tall, brown-looking guy. So that was one thing. But yeah, Shaman's kind much... of ambiguous, I guess, a little bit. He never really got that. Even at TSA, Shaman gets less profiled. I feel like than Herman. Because <laughs> he could pass for I don't know. He, he passes for like I, like I said, ambiguous. Like he could be like Persian, he could be the Mexican, he could be Indian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay. All so right. anyway, the big picture of bullying. Any advice? Because beneath, I think I feel like you will give. Well, yeah, my advice, advice is one. just you just have to find. I think the key is to find somebody you can confide in and vent to and mm. get advice from, because that will be your solidity throughout it all. Because it's really hard to <laughs> ASMR over there. Because <laughs> um, it's really hard, to, especially if things start getting out of control, to know what the right thing is to do for your own sanity, especially when you're young like that. So I think it doesn't always have to be your parents. It could be like a big sister. It could be like a cousin. It could be any sort of friend. Um, but having somebody you can go to and get more advice from or vent to even. Because yes, I can tell you to stay strong and all that good stuff and do mm-hmm. what makes you happy. But you should always have an outside point of view to tell you like what the right next step is to do right okay that's a good way to end that topic you guys uh get your advice from big sis core beauty and with that we are going to move on to our second topic so that was bullying second topic is going to be one shaman brought maybe shaman you can jump in it's about to get a little bit of uh interesting i would say